Good morning, everyone. It's the Wednesday, the 10th of November today. Good morning, Frank. How are you? Howdy, Kylie. Very well. Good. All right, we're going to shake things up a bit today, and I'm going to go first. What? So, patterns and events, the usual scan. Go. It's nine, okay. Ah, that looks nice. Nice sideways move. Bit of an increase in volume you'd probably have your per buy it around let's just round it up to 55 55 is here could be a bit more conservative i like to have intraday on oh boom check that out there could enter at 45 and a half if it's if it comes back doesn't look too bad H said, uh, that was a good breakout here, moving along. I'd probably now want to see it. The target is $1.80, $1.71. There's not a lot in it, so I'd probably hang back personally. There's no real entry there yet. That just looks like a takeover. Patch and off it goes. Keeps going. Let it go. Uh, nope. Ah, we talked about SBM yesterday, St. Barb's. I think this is in your watch list, Frank. Yeah. That's looking very good. Very close. Very, very close. close. Uh, Seven West Media, I think this is. Uh, yeah, Kerry Stokes was on telly last night giving himself a pat on the back. Right. Okay. Had a bit of a break out of this box. Looks like yesterday, trying to carry just, on. Just go five years. Oh, yeah. There you go. Okay, nice one. That's pretty good. Got a look at that one. That's it. Oh, it's short and sweet today. Okie doke. Um, well, I'll just rattle through uh, my watch list. Actually, uh, I've got a watch list here called Stalking. These are stocks that I'm just waiting to do the right thing. AGL. Uh, very long term, waiting for a higher, higher, higher low. I'll just rattle through these for interest's sake. St. Barb's, ready to rock and roll. VVA. Um, yeah, I've had that box there for a while. I'll extend it, which I like. Uh, the further sideways, the better. Like back here, from May to September. We've now got September to November. Um... That's down, that's sideways, that's up, that's sideways, next move should be up. Nice. Um, so I'm just developing that watch list. But back to higher, 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 low, we have um, actually, okay, the data's on, HCO. I guess that's broken one level today, um, but pretty critical that it gets through 23, 24 were to do anything. Um, ADN backing off. BNR nothing yet. CUL nothing yet. DLC uh, broke yesterday. Not much follow through today. DNA broke through a couple of days ago. Not much follow through today. OBV still pretty solid on that one. Um, Donakali, Donakali, waiting for a break of 50. DRR, I guess that's broken. Bit messy. I just think there's better than that or smoother than that. Um, EM1, another one that, um, that there's a lot of, um, a lot of uh, buzz going on at the moment with, um, gaming stocks and betting stocks. Uh, for instance, like PBH has just got a license to operate in New York for all those people who are entrenched in fundamentals. EMR, um, EVN, now it's the same as St. Barb's and probably Resolute and a few other Goldies, not looking too bad. Uh, HL. A, nothing in there for me. Um, 
IBX went for a gallop yesterday. ICO, we're waiting. LIT, I think of that. I, I really do like LIT if it does break. Got to break 15. Um, MAT, nothing there. NCM, waiting. North Star, same as the other goldies, uh, looking pretty good. ORE, um, PTG, Rex, we wait. RFT, um, that's been a lot of fun on RFT. St. Barbs, as I said, nothing on SIX. Um, SVL waiting, WCN uh, still waiting, and Zoom. I'm going to delete Zoom from the list. Now, today's scan. High, 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 low. There we go. ADN um, commented on that. ALK looks the same as a lot of other gold stocks at the moment. AQX mentioned this one yesterday. I think it needs to break 1.5. ASQ, interesting. Opened uh, high, opened at 13.5, went to 14.5, now back down to 11. Um, but it has been messy in here. Uh, that's a big sell off. Yeah, if, if anyone bought that break, I wouldn't be hanging around any longer. BOE, uh, that looks good for a break. I'm going to add BOE to the watch list. I like that. CCZ, uh, I've seen worse than that too. Uh, Two million traded today already, $80,000 into it. CCZ, that gains entry to the watch list. CNL, no. DDD, no. Just looks like, yeah, 3.8 billion out there. DOU getting interesting, but um, it's at, it's at 8.3. The break for mine would be pretty much right now, let's say 8.4, but um, there's going to be a lot of resistance across here at 9, there's going to be more resistance at 10, uh, so looking at DOU, you'd want to be quick. I'll throw it in the, uh, the watch list. EL8, I've seen worse, but I'll let it fester for a bit longer. HIL, I think they're better than that. IDX, uh, a lot of resistance in front of it. A couple of closes above the $5 level and it would be worth following a bit into a skydive. Uh, not for me. AC, a no. KAI, um, not, not yet. LIT, just needs to do a little bit more, get through 15, and there'll be something in that. MML, a um, couple of breaks here, a bit of a retracement break. Again, I think there's cleaner charts than that. Paladin, um, brings back a lot of memories, Paladin. And it doesn't look too bad on you know, a break of probably $1.4, $1.5 or something. PEN looks the same as Paladin, just about. Red Mountain, uh, 1.46 billion out there, 1.1 centre. There's some interest there. OBV's kicking along. Um, bit of interest there, but again, I think there's better out there. St. Barb's, we've mentioned STA. STA looks interesting. If you're not in there now, I'd be thinking about buying a break of uh, 22 and a half, looking at buying 23. Uh, SVY, now this, this looks good. Uh, I like the resistance at 50. Bring in a bit more data. Okay, we clearly have uh, a significant low here on the 6th of October. 
we've had a rebound through to about the 18th which takes out the highs back from 6th of September, 27th of June, 21st of June, sorry, I meant to say 27th of July. So um, looking at this one year chart, that's down the gurgler. I can box off this whole area here from 15th of June through to current. Uh, that is good sideways movement. We've had the higher high, uh, the higher low. I'd like to see a bit more of a kick in OBV. Uh, clearly not a lot of volume traded. But this is good for a quick gallop to 60. There's no gaps up here. Uh, if only 260 million out there, tightly held. Um, it's not difficult to see a very slow climb back up towards those highs at 90 cents. Uh, pretty big statement, but uh, time will tell. Uh, actually, I'll go back to that and definitely throw SVY into the watch list. Vita Group. Yeah, see, this is similar, um, pretty significant low. We've got to go back to uh, February to see these levels. We've, we've had a rally to a resistance level, backed off. Now we're ready to go through it. Um, you know, really about now, whether you wait for the break of 90 or whether you, you can just about hop onto that as we speak. Consumer discretionary, 165 million out there. Uh, it will hesitate at the 90 cent level. But, um, got a gap back over here at $1.12. Interesting, the VTG definitely gets added to the watch list. And that's the last one. So that's it from me and that's it from her. Thank you very much. Talk to you tomorrow.